In today's video, we're going to look at how you can add flexible file upload functionality to your web application quickly using auto query and server stack view components. Here we have created a new application using the serverstack.net X tool and the Vue.mjs template. This gives us a productive way to build progressively enhanced view applications with Razor Pages, Tailwind, and SQLite already configured. Let's say that at your company, we want to add a call to action to your website to encourage talented developers to apply with their resumes as your team is expanding. We want to get started quickly with a mock of this UI, so we're going to use the great looking components from Tailwind UI. Finding a component that suits what we need, we can then copy the HTML and paste it at the bottom of our index page in a new section. Customizing the text and details to your company, and that's looking like what we need. Now we still have the problem that it isn't functional and doesn't include anywhere to attach a resume. So we need somewhere to store both the data being provided in the form and the attached file. For this, we're going to use auto query to declare a new database table and create our services. First, we declare our job application table and match the fields we already have mocked up in our UI. Next, we create the auto query request DTOs for our services. We need query, create, update, and delete. The create service will be used by anonymous users to provide their details and upload their file, whereas the other three services will be only used by admins. On our job application database model, we will also want a column that will store the location of our file, so not the file itself in blob form, just a reference to a related path. In this case, the file path property will hold the relative path of the file, which will be populated by the file upload feature plugin. So now that our data model and auto query services are ready, we need to update our database to include this new table. Service stack templates have a database migration process built in. We can create a new migration that creates our job application table on the up method and drop it on our own down method. We then run this migration using the task in the package.json file and our database now has our new job application table. Running our application and the Tailwind dev task, we can still see our mock form. So let's change it to use our new service. To do this quickly, we're going to use the service stack view auto form component, which will automatically generate a form for a specific request DTO. We will create a new MJS view component so it can easily be reused. And on our main page where the Tailwind UI form mockup used to be, we can mount it as a component. In the component, we will specify a template that uses the auto form component, specifying the type property of create job application, which matches the request DTO we want to use. Saving those changes and our application hot reloads showing a similar form as before, but this time it's connected to our backend services. To customize the styles to match the original component, we can override the form class, heading class, and buttons class. The message field is now a standard text input, whereas the Tailwind UI showed it as a text area since the message is for longer form text. We can change this in our backend services by adding the input attribute specifying the type as text area to our create job application request DTO. .NET Watch then detects our changes, hot reloads our application, and our auto form reflects that change straight away. Lastly, we're still missing the file upload functionality for the resume. We're going to use the file upload feature plugin to save the uploaded files and persist them to our localhost file system. Navigating to the configure.apphost file in the apphost project, we will add the files upload feature plugin and create an upload location called job apps. The next parameter of the upload location is an iVirtual Files instance. Here we're going to use a file system virtual files that is mapped to our local app data folder, but this is completely swappable and Service Stack has support for AWS S3, Azure Blob Storage, and Cloudflare R2. 
Next, we map the upload location to job apps on the request DTO we're going to use, which in this case is the create job application DTO. We can use the property name file path here on our model and request DTO for a quick solution, or alternatively if we want more control, we can use a separate table to store more metadata. Since we don't want the form to show the name file path, we can again use the input attribute to change the label to resume. By default, upload services require authentication, but we can customize the plugin here quickly to allow write access to anonymous users. To improve our form, let's give the user a message to indicate their application has been sent. And since these are just standard View 3 components, we can customize their interaction easily by hooking into the success event of the auto form to display our message. Posting our form with the attached file, we can then see our file in the app data folder. The path of the file by default includes the name of the original file along with the date of the year, month and day, but this can also be further customised within the file upload feature. To review our applications, we can use Service Stack low code for admins to look at the table of entries for our job applications and download files as needed. To make it format better in low code for this auto query grid, we can use the format attachment method on the job application class for the file path property, and we get an easy way to view and download files for admin users. By using the Service Stack Files Upload feature plugin, we've taken what would have been a large number of tasks and distilled it down to a few pieces of configuration that's easy to reuse and change as needed. If you want to see more about the customization ability of this plugin, we have built a Blazor application called FileBlazor that makes heavy use of it, as well as a more fully featured job application website called TalentBlazor. I'll put links in the description for those and more documentation, and as always, thanks for watching. Well that's it for this video, if you have any suggestions or feedback about our templates or videos, let us know in the comments. If you want to know more, check out our other videos and join us in the Service Stack community through our Discord and GitHub discussions. Service Stack is free for individuals and open source projects so anyone is welcome, and as always, thanks for watching.